Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to continue with the um, shell patterns and today's pattern is called the brick stitch and it's squares of asymmetrical shells with open work between them. And it's a pretty easy pattern so let's get started. To begin we'll start with a slip knot Make sure you're leaving yourself a tail for weaving in later. And our chain needs to be a multiple of four. And so I'm going to do 20 chains for my multiple of four for this sample piece. And you're just going to grab your yarn, bring it through, and that get you your chains. Make sure when you're counting that you do not count the one that is on your hook. So I will meet you at the end of my chain. The end of my chain. Now once you have your multiple of 20, you're going to add 6. And we're going to start by skipping the first three chains. So don't count the one on your hook. And we're going to start in the fourth chain from the hook. And we're going to do a double crochet. followed by one more double crochet in the next stitch. So with the ones that we've, the stitches that we skipped make our third double crochet here. So there's one and two. And then next we're going to Do one double crochet I'm going to chain three and then we're going to do another double crochet right into that same stitch. And that's going to give you a little opening here. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way across. So we're going to skip one, do our one double crochet, chain three, and then do another double crochet right into that same stitch. And you'll just continue this all the way across your row. So skip one, do one double crochet, chain three, and then do another double crochet into that same stitch. And you continue doing that till you reach the end of your row. Of row one, I'm going to skip this next chain and just do it one double crochet in these last three in each of these last three stitches. And don't worry if your work is going a little wonky here. It'll straighten up as we, as you put on more rows. And then you're, so after you do those three double crochets, you'll chain three and turn your work. And then to begin row two, So 
So in each of these chain three spaces, you're going to do three double crochet chain three and then you're just going to do a single crochet into that same space and then it ends up you're starting to to get your little squares here for the brick pattern and then we'll move to this next chain three space do three double crochet chain three and then just do one single crochet into that same space and that is pretty much it this is row two and this is what you'll be repeating for all of your rows so in each of these chain three spaces we're going to do three double crochet chain three do one single crochet and then move to the next space and you'll continue doing that until you've reached the end of your row and here I am at the end of row two and I just did my last set here, my little cluster here in this chain three space. And I've got these three double crochets and then our turning chain. And you're just going to do one double crochet into that space there between your double crochets and your turning chain. So one double crochet and then you're going to chain three and repeat what you just did in the last row so starting here in this first chain three space we're going to do three double crochet chain three and then one single crochet And you'll move over here to this next chain three space and you'll do your three double crochet chain three and then do one single crochet to finish off that little cluster there and that's going to start pulling your work together and straightening up your your edge here so as you move move down it's going to start pulling itself in because it's still kind of curling but the further along you get uh, the more it's going to tighten up so we'll come here to this next chain three space and do three double crochet chain three and then one single crochet and then you will just continue to repeat that process until you have the number of rows you're looking for. And then when you get down here towards the end of your row, you'll do your little uh, three double crochets, chain three, and your single crochet into this final space, chain three, turn, and continue with the way you've already done these last two rows. So I will go ahead 
and work up a couple more rows so you can see how it looks. And here you can see I've worked up a few more patterns or a few more rows. And it makes an interesting pattern. And there you go. That is the brick stitch. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching.